this is a quick video just to respond to a question. In my last video where I did generating images in Copilot Studio, I was bringing one image into the test panel or into the chatbot control, right? And some people said, well, can I bring a whole list of images, like a table of images in? Yes, you can. So this video's point is just to show you that the generative AI setting will understand tables as well as single images. So again, I am using the new uh, generative AI setting here for this so that um, it, 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 it needs less work actually, and I'll show you. All right. And, but you know, you might want to look at my other video about generating images because that also talks about this in more detail. So basically this is a NASA Informa. It has for the knowledge source nasa.gov, but I'm driving this from a topic and there's two topics in this one. Get the uh, astronomy picture of the day and search pictures. And the one I'm going to show you is the search pictures because that's a table of images versus this one, which is just one image. So if I click search pictures, it will, um, and I do have, you know, watch as you move through this, it knows as an input, it needs a subject. All right. So what keyword term would you like to use to search for pictures in the NASA database? I didn't tell it to say that. It figured out how to ask a question because it knows it needs a subject. All right. So we're going to put in the subject um, moon, right? Just the moon. Okay, there should be plenty of pictures of the moon. All right, and so now it's actually uh, hitting uh, an HTTP request, which you can see right here. And this is returning a table of all the images that are related to the moon that it has in this particular API database. Okay, now as soon as it gets done processing that, it will use markup language to put those images in the chat in a way that the normal person can read it. So not in JSON format. And notice that it includes the images as well. So let's take a look over real quick at the topic. So the topic is search pictures. And here's where the magic of the new generative setting lies. I only have an HTTP request in here, but how do I set this up? I need to have a really good model description in here so that uh, the AI knows when to trigger this. So I kind of start almost by giving it a good name and giving it a good model description. I don't think geeky here, I think natural language here, all right? And then I added the HTTP request, which was which can go and search the database. And as I mentioned before, the URL for this is that uh, endpoint address with a query string. And then I give it a variable, which is the topic subject, okay? Now, the magic of this lies in the details of the topic where we have the description, but more importantly, we let it know we need a subject, okay? And that's going to be the keyword terms to search. So we're defining for the AI that it needs to get a subject so it has keywords to search. And then what is it gonna output? It's gonna output the pictures table, which is a record, okay? And where is that record? It's at the end of our HTTP request. In other words, that is what's in the response. Based on that, it knows how to do the, uh, how do I display this in the uh, chat panel, wherever that chat panel might live. So give this a try. It's not rocket science. Actually, this new setting makes this so super easy, whether it's a single image or whether um, it's just one. All right, happy holidays. I'll be talking to you soon.